Hello. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn how to monitor our system matrix using open telemetry and signals. System matrix are called host matrix in open telemetry. These matrix includes things like CPU usage, memory usage, network input output matrix, and a lot more stuff. You can find a link of uh, a list of supported metrics on uh, the open telemetry contrib repo. Uh, so, so like I mentioned, these are called host metrics and these are some of the uh, system metrics or host metrics supported by open telemetry. For this uh, video, we are going to use Cygnos cloud. If you want to use the self hosted version of Cygnos, you can follow along the instructions provided in this doc. The link to this documentation will be provided in the description of this video, or you can find it under infrastructure monitoring in the Cygnos documentation as well. So heading to the steps, coming to the next steps, we are going to use Cygnos cloud. So in three steps, we can get the complete system matrix for a particular system. So the first step is to set up the OTIL collector with the proper receiver, basically the host matrix receiver and point the collector to the Cygnos cloud backend. The second step is to use or to just go and get the JSON file for a pre-built dashboard. So Cygnos has created a pre-built dashboard that you can use to get the host matrix or the system matrix. Third is to use that JSON file that you just got and put it into the dashboard section of the Cygnos. Basically just create a dashboard with the JSON file, the host matrix JSON file and then you should be able to see your matrix. So let's start with the first step. The first step is to set up the OTIL collector as an agent. We have a tutorial for this. So we are just going to use that tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial, again, if you're using the self hosted Cygnos, you can choose this section. Since we are using Cygnos cloud, we will just uh, follow the steps mentioned in the Cygnos cloud tab. So the first step is to select the environment that you're using. For me, I'm using Mac OS M1, which is an ARM64 architecture chip. So I'll be just using the instructions provided uh, in this tab. The first step in this is to get the open telemetry collector zip file. Uh, what we are going to do is just copy that command and just run it in our terminal. So I am I have a repository called host matrix uh, where I'm doing like uh, where I'm running all these commands. So like you, you can see we got the zip file here. As you can see, we have this zip file now. The second step is uh, I'll explain. Let me paste the command first. The second step is we are creating this hotel contrib hotel call hyphen contrib folder and we are basically extracting the contents of that zip file into this folder. So as you can see, let me clear this up. As you can see, we have the zip file and we have this folder. Now we just need to CD into this hotel call hyphen contrib repository uh, directory that we created. Uh, the third step is once you are inside the OTIL call contrib folder, uh, you need to create a config.yaml file. This is the most crucial step when setting up the open telemetry collector. So this is, let me explain what this config file is and then we'll create this config file. So this config file, basically the main, the main portion for us right now in this config file is this host matrix receiver. So the config file has three major components, the receivers, the processors and the exporters. 
so we will be using the host matrix receiver that is provided by open telemetry to collect our system matrix or the host matrix so these are some of the matrix that we will be collecting the cpu the disk the load the file system memory network and paging there are other matrix available as well here which we can again add as per our need add or remove as per our need right so uh, one more crucial step since we are using cygnos cloud in this uh, config file is the region and the ingestion key variables so we need to replace these variables actually you need to replace these variables with the region of your cygnos cloud tenant and the ingestion key of your cygnos cloud cloud tenant so there are two ways in which you can fill up this data first is go to your cygnos cloud tenant go to the settings section and the ingestion settings section i'm not going to go to the ingestion settings because i don't want to expose my ingestion key right now but you can choose to go to your cygnos cloud tenant and just see your ingestion uh, just go to your ingestion settings and get your region and ingestion key data the second way and i would say the smarter way is to just go to the get started section select infrastructure monitoring select host matrix select since for me select whatever environment you chose earlier for me it was mac os arm 64 and in this step you will get this config file the exact config file that we saw but the only difference is you have the region and the ingestion key values already prefilled so i'm just going to use this file for now so yeah once again you can access this file on your cloud tenant get started under infrastructure monitoring so yeah once we have this file so th this was the basic explanation of the file let's create this file inside the otel call hyphen contrib folder so let me touch config.yaml i will just use my code editor for now i use vs code so i'm just going to open this file and paste the config that i copied yeah so this is the config that i have right now and uh, yeah we are all set with the config so as a next so coming to the next step now since we have the config set up with the ingestion key and the region uh we need to run the otel collector now so we are going to just copy this command and run the otel collector again we are just inside the otel call contrib folder and this should start running cool i think the collector is running now without any harmful errors yeah so we have this uh, the otel collector running now now we can close this document we are done with setting up the otel collector the second step is to use the pre built dashboard so for that we have this github link in the document just go to this github link copy the raw file and you're done with the second step the third step is to import this host matrix uh, json file so basically import this pre built json file pre built dashboard json file into signos cloud how can we do this so just go to the dashboard section of signos cloud just create this click on the new dashboard button and click on import json and just paste the json file uh, that you have created if you have a downloaded json file you can upload the json file using that button but since we copied the json file we are just going to paste it and just do import and next and what this does is it creates a dashboard for us so right now you can see this dashboard is kind of empty so what we are missing right now is the last thing once you have done importing the json file you need to like select the host name for your system so for me this is my macbook pro local 
so as you can see once i selected my host name it populated some data for me so i can change maybe for the last 5 minutes and it will change data so as your system keeps running you will start seeing more and more data right so this is it this is how you can monitor your uh system matrix in signos using the host matrix dashboard so it's very easy and you can monitor a lot of your crucial system matrix using this thank you so much